Ashki. We were talking yesterday about the uh, the barbecue Doritos that I ordered, and I described them as being like the old Dutch barbecue seasoning, which uh, Doritos are Frito Lay, um, and a more apt descriptor of the the flavor of the barbecue Doritos is literally just Fritos in the shape of <laughs> Doritos. I I I took I taken one bite of it uh, yesterday when I. Gave my review of it, and it was, uh... That one bite tasted very similar to the Old Dutch. I still think that uh, the Old Dutch barbecue and, um... Fritos taste very similar. And they're both going for a similar thing, right? Like, they're going for that uh, barbecue flavor, right? Um... But, uh... Yeah, they, 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 they taste very similar. But they are, like, they're, they're, they're literally just Fritos. Like, plain Fritos in, uh, in a different shape. Is uh, is all they are. Nothing, uh, nothing too special. Um, but they're 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 fine, you know. They're okay. They uh, they'll they'll do for for a snack for a little while. It's not like I don't like them. I and mean, Fritos aren't really my my go-to for um, a snack either, really. Um, but they'll do. They'll do. This is really an endless map, it's not really a four round map, but whatever. Um, anyway, they're, they're okay. They, they were okay. They still are okay. They, um, I don't know if I'd order them again though, is the, is the thing, you know? I don't know if they passed that test. They, they, they passed the test that, like, if I get them, I'm not gonna be super disappointed, but, uh, you know, if, if I'm if I'm ordering, you know, chips again or something, am I gonna like go out of my way to get the barbecue? Nah. You know, if I'm next time I order chips, whenever the heck that is, I don't know. I don't get chips too too often. I mean, but um, I mean I like having them around, but like I don't really order them too much. I like them too much, so I I tend to avoid them when possible. Well, not not when possible, but like uh, whatever. I, I can't I can't think of a way to, to describe my my stance on chips. I like them, I order them on occasion, not super frequently, so um and uh, and honestly like Doritos aren't even like my go to chip typically. My my go to chip is uh typically just like a plain chip. You know, like I'm I'm the kind of person who gets a, a plain classic chip. You know, if they have the low sodium version, I'll go for that. If they got the baked one, that's you know, like uh, Lay's baked, cl like original, classic, plain oh, yeah. chips. Those are my favorite chips by far. If that's available, those are 100% getting picked. 100% of the time, they're so good. I love them so much. Um. I'm, I'm almost glad that no store around here actually carries them. Subway carries like small little bags of them, um, but I can't go to like a grocery store and like buy it. Um, I don't know why they just they just don't get carried here. The drugstore here used to carry them, um, and I bought all of them <laughs> when they were there, and then they never restocked them. I was I wasn't like it wasn't like a, a problem addiction when I bought them. I bought them because I wanted to like show the I want I wanted the numbers to reflect that these are popular. Make sure you're stocking them. They just never stocked them again. I'm like you sold out like the day you got them. Okay? <laughs> like why are you not buying more? Why are you not ordering more? It must have been a mistake. Somebody made a mistake or whatever and they just didn't care to like check if it was a good mistake or not, but like j literally I went to the store and I saw them and I'm like, yeah, I'm j I'm literally going to buy out the entire thing. Because something's happened here that they're stocking these. I want I want it to show that this is a good idea. Because <laughs> I wanted to be able to buy them more frequently. So I had a bunch of chips. They had like four or five bags or something like that. That I uh, that I bought. So I had chips for a while. <laughs> but uh, I'm like I need I need them to like recognize that, uh, that this is a profitable venture. Because... I need I need this in my life because those those like classic baked Lay's chips are just so good. Um, yeah. Um, 
So I, I bought them all. And then they didn't restock them. I'm like, what are you doing? If I'm, the, if I'm the manager and I'm the one that's doing the ordering and I see that these all sold out the day we got them, I'm like, I. Right, somebody really likes them. Let's, like, bring in another few and, like, try it again, you know? Like, you're not going to commit to it and be like, yeah, let's buy, like, you know, bulk. Let's let's, let's really stack up on these because, like, it's obvious that, like, one person bought them. <laughs> when, when you can, like, look in the thing and see that they're all in one transaction. Um, but you can see that, like, they all sold, you know? There's there's clearly a, a need for these. Bring in bring in some more. What what's the worst that happens? You end up with like four bags of chips that you don't sell. That's like, you know, three dollars on on your side. You know what I mean? Even if it ends up being waste, it's like a super low risk and and uh, very likely to to sell. Even if it's only to that one person who bought all of them before. Um, so it's like just why wouldn't you why wouldn't you stock it? But they didn't stock them, dude. And I was so mad. And no around here is stalking them. Only time I get them is when I, uh, I order Subway. And I, I get the, the bag of chips. And it's not, it's like, you know. I love, I love those chips. They're the most delicious chips in the world. Sometimes when you order Subway, you're like, I don't really want chips. You know? So even, even if I happen to be getting Subway, there's, there's a good chance that I'm just like, I don't really want chips. You know? Like, I just, I, I just need a sandwich, you know. I don't, I don't want chips. I don't want cookies. I don't want drinks. I just, I, I just want my, my veggie sandwich with uh, a bit of salt and pepper, you know. Um. But uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go down. Let's let's do it. Spawns in there. Um. You know, sometimes you just don't feel like chips you don't feel like dessert right and that's okay but that's the only place I can get them and it's uh, it's it's super disappointing because uh, I don't uh, I don't get to eat it too often because like again I only when I order from subway which isn't very often and only when I order from subway and I want chips which again is like not super often <laughs> so it's like just a lot of a lot of stars have to align for me to be able to enjoy that delicacy. Um, can't order them on like Amazon. The stores that that carry it online don't deliver here. It's it's just uh, it's a disaster, man. Anyway, I don't. Uh, Doritos aren't really my go-to chip. Tip typically I'll go for a plain chip or maybe sour cream and onion. Um, I like the Pringles cans. Pringles are good. Pringles of anything, plain is good. Sour cream and onion. Barbecue is okay. Barbecue chips are okay. Barbecue chips aren't really my favorite chip. Typically. Um, but they're they're fine. Barbecues is fine. Um, not not really it's not you know, barbecue of anything is it's not really so interesting to me. But I mean it kind of extends to like outside of chips too, like barbecue sauce typically I'm not very interested in. I just I don't really like it. I know barbecue sauce is like a huge thing, right? Like there's like it's it's a there's like fandoms on around barbecue sauce that we crashed. It happens with this map sometimes, okay? Sometimes it just it do be happening, okay? So stare at the uh Minecraft screen for a little bit here while I launch Killing Floor 2 again. I have a pause hockey. The responsible thing is to hit pause and then come back when we're back in game, but you know dang well I'm not doing that. You know dang well I'm just extending the video here, okay? Anyway. Um I just drank water and it like I don't know if you could hear that, but it just like gurgled back up. <laughs> it was it felt so weird. That felt very weird. Like there was like air or something, and it like bubbled its way back up through my throat. It it was a, it was a strange feeling. It was a very strange feeling. What were we talking about? Chips or something? No, barbecue sauce. Yeah, I know there's like fandoms around barbecue sauces, right? Like people love it. For me, I just I can't get into it. I don't like barbecue sauce. It's just not for me. 
I think it's because a lot of barbecue sauces just use like ketchup as a base, you know? And anything, like you put ketchup in anything, I don't like it. Just just straight up. If you're, if you're going to the store and you're buying ketchup from any brand and you, uh, and you, uh, like make something with it, I don't like it. I, I won't. It's it's such a disgusting thing to me. It, it, it's anything that it's in is just completely not okay for me. Uh, and barbecue sauce, I feel like starts with uh, with ketchup a lot of the time. I feel like a lot of sauces start with ketchup, and I'm not sure why. But like it's it's a, it's a base for for so many things, and like anything that is well, almost anything. I, I, there are there are a couple of things that I've used. Uh, that I've that I've used ketchup in, that uh, that I I've I've been like yeah it's okay. Um, but it's it's just it's not very good. <laughs> and I, I feel like it's used in a lot of barbecue sauces. I feel like it's used in a lot of um, like it's used in meatloafs and like anything like that. But yeah, barbecue sauces for for me not really a huge thing. Honestly, like barbecued stuff in general is just not really my thing. I'm I'm more of a I don't know. I don't even know what I am. What am I? You tell me. Yeah, it's just barbecues for me. Is it's, it's not. Uh, it's not so great. I'm more of a sous vide kind of person, you know. Sous vide with a flamethrower. Give me that. Give me some sous vide sauce. But I am. I am more of a fan of um, like proper sauces, you know, like. With like a good, you know, stock and uh, reduced, and you know, like like you put time into the sauce, and you really made something that's that's good, you know. Instead of yeah, I mixed like uh, ketchup, and then I added more sugar and some cayenne pepper, and we call it barbecue sauce. And it's like no, you I call that you know gross. I know that's not really like totally the recipe for barbecue sauce. You typically get like what. Worcestershire or whatever, maybe. Um, maybe some honey instead of sugar. But it's just, it's just, it's not good. I don't like it. I just don't. Maybe that's why I'm not such a fan of barbecue uh, chips, because uh, they kind of go for a similar thing. I don't know, man. Oh, I didn't upgrade the eagles. That's. I was wondering why I had so much money left over, like, to buy stuff. And I'm like, what the heck? I didn't. Uh, I didn't upgrade the eagles. Doesn't matter, but. Yeah, I gotta get caught up on my uh, Japanese again, so I can't really read that. I've been putting off my my Japanese study for too long. If you guys uh, haven't been around very long, you probably wouldn't know that I was studying Japanese for a while because I'm a weeb, and there are a lot of manga that I want to read that uh, that I can't read. So I was like, yeah, I'll just learn Japanese, and then I can read it. I haven't been practicing, so I've kind of lost a lot of that uh, that knowledge, and it's kind of like riding a bike. Once I start to get back into it, I'll be able to recognize it again. Like, I can read part of that. I just can't read all of it. Like, I can read most of it. I just I can't read all of it. And it's it's like I, I can feel it like I don't when when you guys do something like like that you know can can you feel it coming from like a different part of your brain like you're engaging like different like emotions or something when you're like trying to read it because when I read let's see do we have English text here somewhere not really okay we'll just open up this when I read Gunslinger here okay. I, I'm I'm uh, English is my first language. I'm a native English speaker. I read Gunslinger. I just I see it as Gunslinger, right? Like I I I recognize that, and I can like feel it like being you know read as as Gunslinger, right? Whereas if we were to go down here and I read this, I I feel it like engaging my brain differently. Does that make sense? Like I, I can read. If I were to sit here for a moment, I could, I could probably read that, just fine. Um, I believe that is uh, you. Is that 
she can't remember um but like that's the thing right is, is like if it, it feels like it's coming from long-term memory that's that's kind of been forgotten i don't know how to explain it but like i, I there, there's just this this feeling when i'm when i'm looking at this that's different than when i'm looking at this and it just like having to like process it and translate it in my head and uh when i was actively learning and, and actually spending time as i should be uh learning japanese uh that feeling wasn't there it was more like i was reading gunslinger um but but now that it's kind of like been lost it's like re-engaging the, the the parts of my brain that i didn't even know i needed it's 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 hard for me to explain it but like i i can read it but it just it, it feels strange and uh, it feels like I'm working my, my, my brain out. Like, I, I couldn't say, like, you know, it's, it's in the, like, you know, left side of my brain or whatever. But, like, I can just... I, I feel it, like, just working differently. You know? Like, it, 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 it doesn't feel like I'm reading. You know? Like, like it, it's a different kind of sensation of... Of, of, uh, of operation. You know? More more calories are being burnt, maybe? For, for having to think harder about it. I don't even know, dude. But, uh... I can feel that, you know? So I, I definitely know that I should be keeping up on my Japanese. At the very least, I should be uh, studying my hiragana. Just so that I'm uh, aware of... And I'm able to read that properly. And then, like, really, truly commit that to long-term memory. Because I understand... Japanese grammar and uh, and some words like I have some vocabulary and I, I know some grammar and stuff like that so like as long as I'm able to read I, I am still able to to read stuff if, if I can translate the, the characters to to like what they mean you know what I mean like if I can read the characters I can typically understand what they're trying to say um, as long as it's hiragana or well no if, if I can read the characters it's fine um, if I know what it's, you know, if what the characters mean, like, the the one on top there, I believe, is you. Um, I believe, then, the one on the bottom was... What? Wo? Or wa? Or ha? Ho? Some, some, ho or ha or ho? Right? Can't remember. I really, The moral of the story is I really gotta get caught up on my Japanese studies. It's been a long time since I've properly done any study on it. And, uh, that's a bit... That's very bad, because there are still manga that I want to read. I mean, it's just it's better if I just am able to read the raws anyway, because I just would enjoy it more. <laughs> you know, like oftentimes you get translations that just kind of suck, and it's stupid. Um, because like oftentimes you get translations when you're reading a manga or something or anything, um, and the translation has like poor grammar and poor sentence structure and it makes you feel like the manga itself is like cheap and like the story is just kind of half-assed when in reality it's, it's like the translator that's just not doing it justice you know like in the original language it makes sense and the grammar is fine and the story is well written and well thought out but the translator is just like butchering it so if, if i'm able to just read it in the original language that would be way better for a lot of the times and it would be nice to be able to uh possibly get a job as a translator someday which which is like a big like put a lot of effort into that <laughs> like like they, they typically look for native Japanese speakers to translate to English you know because like somebody who understands Japanese natively is going to be able to like be like okay so this is what they're trying to say and then somebody who's English is going to be able to be like okay so like we can write it down like this you know whereas if you're not native Japanese might not understand all of the nuances and all of the references and all of the, you know, idioms and metaphors and like all of this kind of stuff that, that you kind of need to know. But uh, as a translator, maybe not for like a big group or anything like that, but maybe as a, and it wouldn't be like a permanent job. I, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly looking for like, my goal is, is one day to, to maybe have a part in, in helping like some small company translates uh, either to Japanese or from Japanese or something like that. But it'll happen someday, perhaps. Maybe. Uh, anyway, that's going to do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. What map are we going to play?
Bye.